So what we're going to learn today is how to create some satin looking texture just like the one that you're looking at just here. Okay so let's get started. The first thing we want to do is create a new image and I'm just going to make it 800 by 800 and then we want to select our gradient tool here. Select this option, blending mode to difference and opacity 100%. And then we just want to randomly draw we'll start off with four, a few lines like that and then just start to sort of mix it up a bit so a couple across, down, up, down, across, down, up, across, down and this sometimes might not look the best straight away but We'll see how we go with this. Now we want to, once you're happy with it, you want to go to filter, blur, gloss and blur. And then we'll blur it at about 6 pixels, then hit OK. Then we want to go into filter, stylize, and then find edges. Now that's given us that cloth looking picture there. Then we want to go into image adjustments and levels and then just move this slider up just to where the black starts just so we can see a bit of texture there and hit OK. Then at this point you want to, you have to save your file so we're just going to call it cloth, I'm going to call this one cloth2 and this is really important that you do this. Now we want to go into image adjustments, hue and saturation, then just tick colorize and then just pick the color of the satin sheet that you want and just uh, adjust the saturation a bit there, say there and then the lightness. doesn't really matter what settings you use, just whatever you, you're happy with, then hit OK. Then we want to create a new layer and then color pick the 50% and fill that there. Then we want to go into filter, noise, add noise, uh, select, uh, let's say amount, for this example we'll use amount 12 and just Gaussian and monochromatic. Then we want to go filter, blur, motion blur, and just have the angle 35 degrees, distance we'll say 25 pixels, and then hit OK. Then we want to go into filter, distort, displace, and just leave the settings here, 10, 10, stretch to fit, repeat edges, and then hit OK. And now you have to select the file when you saved it previously, so I saved it as cloth2, so I'm going to select cloth2, hit OK, then it will look like that. Then what we need to do is select the blending mode to overlay and change the fill to say about 75. And that just gives us that sort of textured look. It might not be a whole lot of difference, but it is a more realistic difference. So that's basically it. I hope this has been a help to you and thanks for watching.